G'day, how you going? Ian Annapolis here, your acrylic guru from Australia. Beautiful day. I'm going to go into the uh, studio and do a painting for you people today, all right? So we'll get in there and um, do a bit of a painting. Oh, beautiful and aircon in here. It's a bit warm outside today. So we'll come over here. I'll give you the size of the canvas panel there in centimetres and inches. A lot of people like to know what different sizes, inches and centimetres. And we'll also get some colours running up the screen there so you can write them down. And like I've said before, if you want to paint along my tutorials, they're designed for you beginners to paint along. You write those colours down and watch the tutorial a couple of times so you know what's going to happen in further up the road there and if I make any mistakes or do something you want to change along the way you know what you're going to do all right so all right come on over here and we'll get right into it all right we won't muck around we're just going to get right into it so I've gone and put a horizon line about just under halfway and we're going to have some water hitting the, the front here and a glancing sun setting down here pretty sure we will use the white, the craft white, for getting everything ready. So we're going to put that there. And we want some retarder. Now the retarder slows down the drying time of our acrylic paints. Pretty cooler. Huh? So we're going to first get the canvas prepped in this so as we can put some colors on there and blend them and merge them really nicely hmm interesting yeah so we'll get all this top half done i'll do the bottom later because i don't want to have to try and get it all done before it dries so we can do the bottom later so we'll get that there okay now get this massaged into your canvas and then just stroke it nice and even and get all those brush marks out of there, okay? Hmm. Okay, on the palette, I have phalo blue, quinacridone red violet. I've got uh, dioxine purple. I've got titanium white, parole red, and Indian yellow. These colors here, use something similar if you don't have the exact, okay? Now we're going to start with the Indian yellow. So I want to pick some of this up and get glancing down the bottom there because this is the light colour. And I want to get this glancing just here. Glancing just there like so. Now you're going to need a blending brush for this. So I'll put that down there. And you want to blend this. We're just blending the strokes out to make it look beautiful, artistic, and lovely. Okay, we've got that glanced all the way down the bottom of the horizon line like that. Beautiful. Get it up there. That's all our yellow done. Wipe your blending brush. Okay, I'm using that same putter on a brush. So I'm picking up some of the Pyrole, Pyrole Red. Okay. And we want to get that in here so we're coming across here bring it into the yellow just like that boom boom see like that you could probably get some of it glancing out here that'll do now you want to grab another blending brush that other one's contaminated so I'm going to use this one now and I want to get this beautifully glanced area blended together on a horizontal movement just like that just so as we're getting rid of the brush strokes there we go beautiful wipe the brush it's picking up build up now where the yellow and the red have met that's what I'm concentrating on okay I might pick up just a bit more of the yellow just to put back there. 
There we go. Beautiful. Now I can wipe the brush and blend the buggery out of the rest of that red. Okay. So we want this all up there. Just up there somewhere. And the same on this side. It's mixing with that white that I've put the um, retarder with. I'm wiping the brush just so as we can get this beautifully done there. Beautiful. We want the purple to hit this yellow bit. Now we don't want the blue to touch it. So the next colour is the Cronacridone Red Violet. I've bought that in the tube. That's what it was caught. All right, so we want this pretty much, yes, scraping us across the sky there. It's coming into all of this. Bring it in like that. See, yep, yep, into that yellow a bit. Beautiful. I'll pick up some more now and I'll blast it on there like that. This is the main colour of that sky. Look at that, beautiful. I'm going to just wipe that brush, hopefully, and pick up some of the phthalo blue and get that. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Oh, I love that. Now, I want to push it down into there and push it down into there. I don't want to kill too much of that violet. What I'm going to do before I go too far is blend that. Okay, I'm just adding a bit more violet there. There we go. And I've cleaned my blending brush so as I can um, get all these colours. Now we'll start from down here. Blend this. Okay, wipe it. Get the other side done. Okay, now we can try... No, I don't want to bring any of this blue down into that yellow now. I want to keep it away from it. And if anything, I'm stamping it, blending it, but in this left to right motion. Okay. We want these colours there because the whites are going to make some of them pop. And I'm getting the colours that I'm after in our weird colourful sky here. Because, yeah, we're going to add some whites in this later to make things pop. Now just to finish off those colours in the sky, I'm picking up the dioxine purple and that's going to be our top darker colours there, okay? Just like that. Scissoring into that phalo blue. That'll do. Grab a blending brush. Now I want to blend that dioxine purple into that phalo blue just so we get some beautiful transitions and magic happening there. Keeping it on the horizontal movement. Okay, now we've got to get the white and make some fun happen into this sky. Grab yourself a pouncer and we've got this titanium white there. It's good. I'm going to put a bit of this in it just so it'll transfer nicely. And right where we want this here, we're going to put the my horizon line. So this is just tidbitting on top of the horizon line right there. Beautiful. I want to now just lightly blend that in a way so those edges are nice and soft. Smearing around, just like that. Okay. Now you've done that, I've got to wash that pouncer. I'm just going to pick up more of that white. Just to put the final white glare within there. There we go. That'll do it. It looks good in real life. Now grab yourself a fan brush and some beautiful titanium white and we'll get some clouds. I want something right about here. Just watch what I'm doing and watch how I'm doing it and that's all you've got to do. A 
Okay, see what I've done there. See how I did that? I'll pick up some more. Maybe get something. Hmm. Straighten the brush up a bit. Get something over here, a bit lower. These add depth to these type of clouds. There we go, look at that. So easy but effective. Now we're going to pick up the paint and put some real stuff in there, okay? So what have we got? We can probably get something here cascading through the sky. Okay, see what I've done there? Grab yourself a blending brush and something to wipe the blending brush all the time. And we want to blend the bottom of this cloud. Hopefully that paint that's on there isn't dried up, no. Now see, I'm using this bottom edge of the brush now, like that, to create the bum of that cloud. See how it does it? Get turmoil within that cloud. Because this cloud's going to be over our head. Turmoil within that cloud. Turmoil, beautiful. Come down a bit if you want. I'll get all this a bit heavier. Something's not quite right there. Okay, we've got that on there. You need to clean that brush. So you're going to pick up beautiful, clean white paint again. It's not going to be contaminated. You don't want to put dirty white for clouds. I'm just picking up some more white and I'll do it to here. We'll put the yumminess on that, put that there. Wipe the brush and you sit that yumminess within that cloud, but you don't blend it all the way through to it, okay? Just so as you've got bits of it going all yummy. Look at that. See what that done? And we want to put something maybe here. Let's put something right out there like that give it the body towel turmoil on and off look at all that turmoil tickle the tops okay turmoil makes a beautiful cloud push some in the middle like that if you want get the bottom done see it's picking up all those colors there turmoil within the cloud okay look at that now we will put some yumminess in that all right, so the brush has been cleaned. We'll probably do this one first. There, cracking the yumminess within it. Just like that. Grab your blending brush, always with something to constantly wipe it, and sit those bright values that you just put on there. But enough so they're still there, but sat down within that cloud. See, they're leaving dimension within that cloud very little you could easily destroy these uh, but you don't want to they make up that yumminess and we'll also put a bit in this one here as well because it's a bit looking a bit dim just there like that so it looks a bit funny when it's on there but once you learn how to sit it down and you practice doing this you can have some fun with them okay just simple but beautiful artistic clouds. I'll get rid of some of that hard line there as well. All right, I'm just going to dry the bottom half of this now. That top half is done. I'll dry it, we'll mask that up, and we'll come down here and do the bottom half, okay? All right, I've got some low tacking tape here. That's just the tape that's not as sticky as high tack. And see, I want my horizon line about there. Okay, so that's where I want to put my tape. Keep it reasonably straight. Just plop it down. And now we're ready for the water. All right, I've just put some fresh flowing white craft paint on that pole there. I haven't added any retarder to it. If any retarder goes into it, it'll be from what's already on this mix here, but I'm not worried about putting retarder in this. And see, we're going to have a shoreline here as well, but it's going to be quite different than normal. So let's get this painted on there like so. This craft paint will help your paint move. Get the whole lot covered. OK, 
colour like that. Okay, now bring it up to that masking tape. Okay, happy. Happy and cool. Beautiful. Alright, get all that off your brush. Get all that paint off your brush. Just wipe it off and pick up the quinacridone, quinacridone red violet. Alrighty, and there's our water here. It's going to stop about there, so we're going to get this on here like so. Look at that water, my God. Right to there. There's our water stopping. Boom, bidi, boom, boom, boom. I want it more darker. So what I'm going to do is wash this brush. It is washed and reloaded with that quinacridone red violet again because we need some darker values there like that. And now I'll push that through again. Okay, all the way down to there to our shoreline. I've just wiped the brush clean from that. I'll pick up some more of this Parole Red. You grab any red you like. This is, I don't know, what's it called? Parole Red. Okay, so we're just gonna grab some of this on our brush. And we want some real close to here. Very close. This is just there like that. Okay, you've done that. Wipe it. I'm just wiping it left and right on an old towel there. And now we want to scrumble this together like so. Beautiful. Pick up some... Where are we? Okay, I've wiped the brush again. I'm picking up dioxine purple. And out here we want some darker values just like that within our water. And maybe a little bit there. I'm wiping the brush again. This is what I did before. It's still full of all sorts of nonsense in there. And I want to get this pulled through left and right like so. Like so, like so. Now, I've got some black here, just Mars black, carbon black, any black you got. And right on the horizon line, we want this black just like that. Wipe that brush again and let that fade into the water there. We've got a very dark edge way out there. Way out there. And then pick up some more. And we want the... Normally what's the sand colour is going to be the black. And we've got that red laced in there because that red is shadowing from our wickedly bright and unusually vibrant coloured sunset we've got going there. So let's get this on there like that. Now, I'm just wiping the brush and I want to get it from top side. I want to keep that sharpness there, but just soften it a bit, like so. Just like so, so as we're not killing all the red. All right. Don't want to kill all that red. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, yeah, lovely. I'm loving that. So let's grab a fan brush and I've got myself a scrumbling brush. Something I'm going to push this paint back with. Okay. And we want to just come within off that black. Let's stop about there. Grab our scrumbler and a rag. The top half only, you've got this line there, okay? The top half only, sit on there and move it, destroying that top solids line and moving it within the water, but on vert, I mean horizontal movements. Just 
just like so so we can see what's happening I'll put some more on there now like another layer there coming here just the top half wipe that little scrumbling brush again and this is creating the white foam within the water lightly as you do it leaving the bottom half nice and solid all right now we're loading the fan brush up and we'll get some more done so let's just come under there a bit try and keep these lines underneath the neatest bit doesn't matter if you get a big thick blob there we'll see I did wash away too much of the red but not to worry and let's go again wipe your brush get it Oh, horizontal washing back. Oh, look at that. Loving that. That's because it's dried a bit more than what it was when it was over there, wiping the brush. Just the top half. Beautiful. Just the top half. Let me see there. Yeah, I could see it needs movement in the station as the water washed around. Yeah, the water's washing around on the ground. Yeah, making it all wet. There we go. Now let's be artistic. Use your mind. If you can see it, you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to put something maybe about here. And do the same again. Just the top half of that line you can practice just doing this all over paper or something just to get this procedure down pat so as you'll be able to pull it off real easy when you're putting it into a painting how's that looking that's looking okay now i'm grabbing that white and some of the indian yellow boom bitty, boom boom in there like that get that color in there oh yeah lovely there's your sun How wet is that? Oh, it's not too bad. I'm just lightly dancing that on there. I'll load the brush up, shaping it onto the end again. This is just reflecting off the top of the water there. I'll load the brush up again, shaping the top of it. You can come into this white bit as well. Now what I'm going to do is just quickly wash that brush. I don't want too much water on that brush, otherwise I'll rip all that paint off. I'm drying it, squashing it dry within the thing. I want to see. Oh yeah, just, it's just working. I'm sitting it down with the edge of that fan brush. Okay. Let's take that tape off and have a look. Important to use a low tacking tape. See how this tape is bent back on itself? Where the actual bend is, that is actually cutting the paint. Because if your paint gets a skin on it, you can tear down into your paint there. See, I've lost a bit here, but that's okay. We're still a bit wet. All right, we're just about finished. Grabbing my bullshit stick, 
Because see the horizon line, we do have a white cutting of the white paint showing through still. So we'll put our stick on the horizon line like that. I've got a softer fan brush. And it, this doesn't matter if it's a bit up and down. It can be distant landmass out there. But I'm just breaking that edge. This is just because it went all white when I pulled the tape off. So I'm just hiding that. And now we'll just whack a frame on this and see how this one looks. Yeah, that's not too shabby. We've got a crazy violet colorful sun setting over the ocean here, okay? With a lot of light and dark elements happening. Um, I would have liked the water a bit more brighter, but it is what it is. Not too shabby at all, eh? All right, like I said, check out the links in the description below. Share, like, and subscribe. And if you like what I'm doing here, Tell your friends, but if you don't, you tell everybody, all right? All the best, goodbye, good luck, and good on you.